I wanted to be unique. Uh, it just was in me that I didn't want to look like everyone else. Today we've got a, a really fun project for you. Um, a great way to get back into sewing or get started sewing. It's just straight stitching um, all the way, no special fitting, and it's called the Mobius Scarf. Hi, I'm Janet Prey from the Islander School of Fashion Arts. I'm excited to be here today to share this with you. I not only want to share this great project of a, of a fun and trendy scarf, but how to sew in an industrial way, which is no pins or basting or very few pins. Now let's get started. I've taken three strips of fabric. Right now here I'm just using a polyester, um, lightweight polyester fabric so it's inexpensive. It can be sheer, you can use a chiffon, or you can use something that's a little more stable like this. For your first one, start with just a, a, a polyester that doesn't stretch or uh, shift out of shape too easily. Okay, now along those three strips, after you cut your three strips, they should all be a different fabric or a different color. You're going to make slits every 15 inches, half the distance of your seam allowance. So our seam allowance is half an inch. So we're gonna make quarter inch slits every 15 inches. So right here, you can kind of see my slit. And that's how we're gonna match. Instead of uh, cutting out those diamond shapes or those triangle shapes, we just make little slits and they'll match up really nice and easy. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you quickly how we would sew with, with little or no pins. So I'm gonna go with my half inch seam allowance. I'm gonna put my needle down first, then my foot, because I don't want my fabric shifting. So the needle holds it in place while I get my hands ready. Put your thumb under, your fingers on top, and tilt the fabric slightly toward the machine. This will keep the bottom layer of the fabric going through faster than the top layer. And if you've ever sewn without pins and gotten to the end of the seam and found out that the bottom layer was shorter than the top, that's what happened. The, the feed dog pulled that bottom layer through faster. Use your left hand to hold the fabric in place as you stitch down. Keep your right hand back here with it twisted up and you just work your way on down until you get to your hand and then you readjust. Okay, I'm not gonna go through the whole seam, but you just match up your 15 inch slits all the way down. When you get to the very end, the last slit is only gonna be six inches from the end. Keep that in mind, because that will make a difference as we go on here. Okay, so once we've sewn our three strips together, we're gonna press the seam allowances open, and we're gonna have a piece that looks like this. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is start at the end with the 15 inch slit. Find your first 15 inch slit. Take the corner of the bottom strip and match it up to that slit. And here's where I say use some pins because this gets a little crazy. As you walk this down to the next slit, you'll find that the whole piece, the whole scarf, is twisting around. And so it makes it a little confusing at first until you get the idea. So we're gonna just walk it around and as we walk it around to the next 15 inch slit, you can see how it's beginning to twist. Now let me show you one that I've already got all pinned. Cause that would be really boring watching me pin that whole thing. Okay, here you go. You see how this is pinned? and it just goes around and around. So now I have to sew that seam in the same manner, taking the pins out as you go. Start and stop a half an inch from the edge. So instead of starting right here on this edge, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a half inch seam allowance and I'm gonna start right here and stitch. And when I get to the end, I'm gonna stop a half an inch. Always back up. Whenever you're going to uh, stop or start a seam, it's usually, almost always, a, a backup and go forward just to secure that seam. Now what we end up with, and then we're gonna press that seam open, that final seam, and you're gonna have to turn the scarf as you sew and turn the scarf as you press. And here we have our finished uh, 
uh, scarf to this point. Now we're going to turn it right side out. Okay, now this is where the Mobius comes in. A Mobius um, has a twist in it. And if you looked at the scarves at the beginning of the program, you saw the twist. So here we have our scarf. We'll lay it out and we're going to fold the two ends in. Lay it out flat, fold the two ends in. <laughs> And then you're going to you see how this end has the stripes. This end has uh, what appears to be just a simple strip. Well, when I twist this, I will apply so that these fit together. And now the strips all match. OK, so remember, you had to twist it. So you've got that twist in it. Now we're going to sew this seam. And that's why we left that half inch, because now we have a half inch seam allowance that we have to sew here. All right, now you, what you want to do is match your seams. And those of you who aren't ready for no pins, you're going to want to put a pin right there in the center of that seam to hold it together. Because the fun thing about this scarf is when you get it done, you there, uh, it's impossible to see where you began or where you started the scarf because it all is continuous. That's the whole concept of the word uh, using the word Mobius in our scarf. It has no beginning and it has no end. And what I want you to see here is, is that I just have this opening at this end. Now you can go ahead and press that seam open if you like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew from here to here and here to here, leaving a very small opening. But we have to do that by turning our scarf back inside out, sort of, just at this area. And I'd say sew down about a third or so of the opening here. These scarves make a great gift, uh, wonderful project to get together with your friends. Everybody's, see how everyone's comes out so different. Usually I like to choose um, Oh, several different fabrics, and I end up going around and around this fabric store trying to pick fabrics to go together. In this case, these were all from the same collection. It's all the same print. They're just um, a really nice combination of colors, I thought. So I got half my hole sewn up. Now I'm going to approach it from the other end and sew as far as I can. And again, when you need to, use pins. If you don't, just make sure you're holding that bottom area, the bottom layer, to get uh, so that it doesn't go through the feed dog faster than the top. So I want to do this real quickly for you so I can show you. And you, the, the trick we try is try to get, get down there as close as you can so the hole is as small as possible. Your last thing you're going to do is you're going to hand stitch that hole closed and you'll, then your scarf is finished. <laughs>